standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Troop 53. Give them a round of applause. That's a good job. They do, do a pretty good job pulling off of looking like Marines, don't they? Those are actually high school students from 9th to 12th grade at Dallas Town JROTC unit. Uh, great kids. And also, we want to thank Troop 53 for being here. Yeah, it costs a lot of nerve for a little guy to get up there like that. activities are lined up today and uh, we just appreciate everything you've done to support this event. Uh, this was a, a, a thought process that started last year with Mike and Mike, okay, and it's not the radio show, okay, and uh, uh, all the proceeds they go to okay, Wounded Warriors, okay, and that's, that's a really good cause. And uh, I, I did a presentation like this uh, uh, probably almost 10 years ago down in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, at the time the 100th the 100th service member had just been killed in Iraq. Okay? Okay, we're closing on 6,000. So I say that just to so you keep them thoughts and prayers for all those families, all those service members uh, in your prayer. And uh, the price of freedom is never free. And uh, we, we come from a great patriotic county here in York County, in the great state of Pennsylvania. We're blessed to do the things that we do here. Uh, my name is Mark Jovich. I'm a retired Marine by trade. I still work for the Marine Corps out of Quantico, Virginia. But anytime I can find a reason to come back to York, Pennsylvania, I do that. And uh, well, some of the things we got today. First, I thank all our sponsors out there that help proceeds at this. And if you can make your way to their tables, shake their hands. Again, they're giving up their time and their money to be able to come out here and help help, help this great cause. Um, the, the major event we got today is the Kettlebell for Warrior uh, seminar, and uh, I watched that seminar. Okay, this poor guy kills these guys. Who's participating in that today? Okay, raise your hand. Okay, I hope you can walk tomorrow. Okay, okay. Uh, outstanding. We are blessed to have Mike here. Okay, he's been in martial arts for 35 years. He's an internationally, not nationally, internationally ranked instructor and trainer in kettlebells. Some of the things that he can take you through this is world-class training. And he's been doing this for a while. Uh, he shows up in Quantico, Virginia. He's always involved with military, okay, law enforcement, or anybody that will pick up a weight and listen to him. And uh, um, you're absolutely blessed. Okay, either as a participant or a spectator today, I think you could really enjoy that. Um, I think we need a big round of applause for who really made this happen. And that's your barbell. So yeah. Instructed these cadets five years ago when I retired from the Marine Corps when 
we first opened the program, and I wanted to go buy some kettlebells. I thought, how can I make high school kids visible? Okay? So I called Mike and said, Mike, we want to buy some kettlebells. So we bought from one pounders to 35 pounders. And, and uh, from that day forward, it's been nothing but a, a great friendship and, and, and a great uh, partnership working together for these type of causes. Okay? At this time, what I'd like to do is just turn the mic over to Mike. He's going to tell you a sequence of events. If you need anything today, please ask Mike or Mike. Or Mike's wife. Okay, she's the boss. Okay, okay he will be busy. Okay, um, and we just want you to have a great time today. Great time. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Thanks, All right, so welcome back. This is our second year doing this event. Uh, this event was incented by myself and Mike McConnor from Direct Marble, which I, I I can't thank enough. We're here for the Wounded Warrior Project. Uh, we do Kettlebell for Warriors events that are literally around the country. Um, how many events have we done so far? It's like our seventh event, really from coast to coast. Uh, and our goal is to raise money for the Wounded Warrior Project. And we are very lucky today to have Scott Adams from the Wounded Warrior Project, who's going to be here today to come. <laughs> Scott will be speaking today around 12.30 uh, at the break. We have a midday break. Scott will be giving a speech for about 25, 30 minutes for us here today and talk about the Wounded Warrior Project, what they do for our servicemen and ladies. Uh, then we have an induction for Sunda Hammerman and the Mighty Adam today around probably about 1 o'clock or so, depending on that. Dan Santa Mendoza here is to uh, bench hard objects for us. <laughs> so we've got lots of really cool things going on. Uh, our goal today, once again, is to raise money. Do we have guys from USAW here today who are doing competing as well? Uh, we have a Dave. Dave Whitney's here. Hi, Dave. So, <laughs> so I didn't see Dave come in. So we have a whole bunch of stuff here on raffles and silent auction stuff. So we've got raffles outside here. My wife, Brandon Seems, in charge of taking care of those. We have some amazing historical stuff that we have on the silent auction as well. So if you're in the in the mindset of a, a party with some of your hard earned cash and raising some money for the Warrior Project, we'll be happy to take it away from you okay, today. Uh, we also have several fitness challenges going on today. We had a kettlebell snatch challenge. It's how many times can you snatch a kettlebell in a minute? Either a 35 pound kettlebell for a guy or a 53 count, or 55 pound kettlebell for, for the, uh, pardon me, 35 for the girl, 55 for the guy, okay? We have a TRX fitness challenge as well, three exercises, you have a minute per exercise, and we have a Dragon Door tactical strength workout, which we get these guys try. It's a kettlebell snatch for a minute, it's a pull up with a kettlebell for a minute, and it's a pistol with a kettlebell for a minute. As much as you can do, the winner gets a kettlebell in the process, okay? So, lots going on today. I need to pass it over to Michael Lacondre from New York Cargo. Okay, um, I'd like to thank everybody that was involved here at New York Cargo. Dave Kogan for putting up with my uh, temper tantrum and all the stress I've been going through with this. Thanks, Dave. Uh, that's the guy there in red shirt, everybody. Thank him. Um, thanks, Dave. Before Dave came here, uh, he is the upper management, he's the CEO. Up until then, I wasn't allowed to do things like this, and he's freed me up to do these things. And he's given me budget for this, and he's given me the go-ahead to have more of this. If you get a chance, shoot him an email, shoot the owner an email up in Canada, that's Bill Irvin, and tell him how much you enjoyed this and what it meant to you, and we can grow this. I'd like to do this once a year if I could. I'd like to thank Mike and Francine and Matt, good job, Matt, uh, for supporting me and believing in me. Master Gunny over here supporting me and um, an inspiration to us all through his efforts. Um, today, be very safe if you would. If anybody does any type of physical endeavor here on the grounds, you have to have this wristband after signing a uh, release form. That's all I ask. Uh, we have food out here in a couple minutes. We'll have raffles and auction and just have fun. Oh, by the way, the benders and the terrors and the rivers, I'd appreciate it if you had to wait until after the induction ceremony to start doing that. And don't break my windows and don't scratch my floors. <laughs> All right? Have fun, everybody, and thank you. All right, so I think it's uh, up to me to have all the people I'm going to be torching with the kettlebell in here for now. Uh, we've got stuff going on. 
literally throughout the whole building, enjoy the uh, the Hall of Fame. Um, my if, once again, she's the boss. This is my wife, Francine. And without her, I would not be able to do this. So let me have the, the, the guys and ladies who are going to be in here for the Kettlebell Workshop. Go ahead and stay in here. Everybody else, you're you're free to wander around, enjoy the competitions, enjoy the challenges. Anything else you have to say? Thanks for being here and have a great time. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in a little bit.